Hey guys, welcome to Sama Pizza Man. My name is Enzo. And I'm Davey. And today's pizza is inspired by uh, another YouTuber, Steve, from not another cooking show. Uh, he had mentioned, I was watching one of his videos, and he had mentioned uh, something about tuna on pizza or something, or I don't know how it came up, but mm. I was like, oh, that would be interesting. So I looked it up, and it's actually a um, Mediterranean, Sicilian kind of uh, pizza, I guess. So uh, I, I went and found two or three recipes online, and I kind of I picked and choose, chose, choose, picked and chose, picked and chose um, what I wanted on the pizza. So it's mainly a tuna pizza, and uh, I don't. I, I think it'll taste good. I mean, this is like Sicilian in the way that like it has the Sicilian ingredients. Like, right. So it's got fish, it's got capers, it's got olives. These are very like hallmarks of Sicilian cooking, right? right. So it's also really hot in here, or it's like warm. Uh, so it's very warm in Chicago so right why, now. That's why. That's why. Well, Dewey, you're a little Dewey. I'm barely Dewey. I'm Dewey because I worked a full day of work and just hop. Right out of the camera! Boom, 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 boom! First thing we're gonna do is add some sauce. And I just made this the other night. It's it's essentially a can of San Marzano tomatoes, like mm. full, like whole tomatoes. Mm. And you just squish them up, add some salt and pepper. You can add other stuff to it as well. Do you, ever, just, add, do you ever add olive oil to your uh, to your sauce? Um, is that a thing people do? Yeah. If you're cooking it, you can also cook your pizza sauce, but it's really it's really up to you. So I'm gonna throw some uh, minced garlic on there. You know, little bites of garlic, chopped up fennel. So fennel is uh, it comes in. It's like these. I'll, I'll, I'll put a. I'll put a little picture in right here. But it's basically it's got like a just giant white bulb, and then it's got green like stalks, like celery, and, and the top is like poofy, like dill. Yeah, the top looks like dill. The bottom of it kind of looks like a big onion. Um, uh, it's kind of somewhere between like a leek and a and a, um, uh, and a and a dill too. I don't think. I mean, the flavor is like it's like anise. Okay. Next thing we're gonna add is uh, capers. These are just gonna add a nice like brininess to the pizza and um, fish and brine. Now you like to really think that good. I'm not into I'm not into capers. I'm into capers. I know, I know. So you're not into olives. I like pickled stuff. I just don't like olives. I don't like olives very much. I think they're pretty gross. Um, but yeah, I love pickled stuff and preserved stuff and Speaking all these kinds of things. Uh, Kalamata olives. Right and here. also, if I'm gonna have an olive, a Kalamata olive is probably the closest thing that I'm gonna do. Like, I like a Spanish queen. I think typically, like, the black olives that you normally get on pizza, the canned olives are yeah, really canned, gross. Canned olives are disgusting. They're gross. And then also, like, um, green, like, green olives that you get, like, at a, like, in a, in a jar, I think a lot of times are really gross too. I don't know. But anyway. Um, Tuna packed in oil, not water. So, what do you think that that does for it? I think it's just flavor. Yeah. It's just, it's just um, break up that one. Just too. Break it up. Um, tuna, tuna and oil. Um, I don't know. It's just a good, good. Like it's fish, fish and oil is a good flavor combo. Um, fish and oil. Fish and oil. No, oil, uh, fish, fish are naturally oily. Fish oils. Fish oils. Yeah, and also like oily fish and fattier fish and stuff like that are actually like super tasty. And then we have some uh, mozzarella pearls, which is just um, maybe mozzarella balls. What? <laughs> are you gonna use all those pearls? No. Now you got tuna in them though. I'm gonna squish, squish them though a little bit. Why are you squishing the pearls? Just to help them. Melt? Melt and spread out a little bit. I think you like squishing these pearls, actually. Yeah. Um, you can also do uh, Parmesan cheese, and that's what uh, one of the recipes called for, but I think any kind of cheese. You can also just leave the cheese out. Guess what? I used up all the Parmesan cheese and when I made dinner the other day. True. So, and I didn't tell him, so that's why we don't <clears throat> And the last thing I'm gonna do is zest, zest some lemon on top. So again, Lemon, uh, lemon, fish, 
and um, and like olives or capers, those those are really those are really like Sicilian flavors, yeah. right? Like those are in a lot of Sicilian dishes. Yeah, my grandfather had a lemon tree or a lemon farm. There you go. Why aren't you like a Why aren't you a lemon? Why aren't you like a um, a, a lemon heiress? A lemon heir. <laughs> yes. Why aren't you a lemon heiress? Oh my god. What? Enzo, the lemon factory has collapsed. <laughs> Family members are trapped inside. So here's the, the pizza. We're gonna throw this into a 550 oven. We're gonna bake this on the pizza, pizza, um, pizza steel. Pizza steel. Mm -hmm. And uh, give it about 10, 10 minutes or so. Bye. All right, eight minutes later, this is what we have. I had some issues. Who's my little Superman? Me. Is it you? Me. Huh? Uh, I had some issues getting the pizza into the uh, into the oven, so it was sticking. So that's why it's shaped like a kite. No, I think it's shaped like a fish. Oh, I guess I guess it could be. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of shaped like a like a manta ray or a flounder. Let's go with flounder. Okay. Okay. So the pizza smells super fishy, but it's like a nice, pleasant smell. It's got, got that like fishy, briny smell. It's very fishy. It's so. it's extremely fishy. All right, let's uh, let's get into this. I'm not sure how to cut this, but cut it just like in half and in half. Okay. Okay. It's, it's got a bottom is cooked, which is good. So. So, I, I'm think, I, think, I, think, I think it'll be good, right? This is gonna be very hot. Why do you make me eat these right out of the oven? Ready? Uh. Mm. Um, I like it, that's good. Oh, something about the lemon zest that really like brings it around a lot because if it wasn't for that, this would not be a good pizza, I don't think. Really, the lemon zest? Yeah, the lemon zest kind of ties everything together. Um, the lemon zest and the anise, or and the and the fennel, I think together, like take away a lot of that the funkiness of the fish that can be like a little overpowering. Fennel? I, I even got an olive in there, and it's like not that bad. It really yeah. balances everything out. So fennel is um I don't I don't typically like cooking with fennel because it's really powerful. I, I, would, I would actually prefer it raw, um, like just eating eating it just straight up. Did not know that. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm actually surprised uh, at the flavor of this. It's it's actually the the combo of the the capers, the olives, the tuna. Um, the sauce. Mm -hmm. So it's like a it's like a tuna salad on a pizza ish with 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 tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. I'm um, a little bit. Part. I feel like this is more elevated and a lot more complex than a tuna salad. Where yeah, like, there's lots of there's lots, there's a lot going on. There's it's also very things. like light. Like yeah. there's all the flavors are very bright and like and keep everything. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Which again, I feel feels like sounds like a very sort of. Sicilian sort of right, things, like, like Mediterranean Mediterranean style like very fresh yeah. very like this very might, strong but right. this might be good with fresh tuna I saw I saw recipes with fresh um, tuna yeah I had asked initially when I when you said you were gonna make it I thought maybe you were gonna use like tuna yeah. steak or something like yeah. that but this isn't bad I like yeah. that it's ground up um, because then you get a little bit in each bite it's just all around um, a good pizza so so yeah it's good summertime pizza good job baby Thanks. you did it Thanks. I'm real proud of you uh, I'm so, gonna eat more of this once it's not 700 degrees, but um, but I like it. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So thanks guys for watching as always. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. And until next time, smell you later. Ciao for now. No. No. the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever feed me.
Do you want to create? Nothing. 